Good day. My name is Heinz Jacobs, and today we will be looking at how to use the Darcy Weisbach equation to calculate friction head loss in a pipe flowing full. First, of course, we need the equation. You will find that on page 111 of the hydraulics textbook, the Darcy Weisbach equation. The HF can be calculated in terms of velocity or Q. In this case, we are using Q. Consider a pipe with length 3,200 meters, flow rate 30 liters per second, lambda 0 0.02, and the diameter 160 millimeters. What is HF, the friction head loss? Let's use our calculator. I have pre-programmed the equation into my calculator, an ancient HP27S. One by one, we will be entering the given values so the first one, 3,200 meters for pipe length. Remember to use SI units. So for Q, we would use 0 0.03 for cubic meters per second. We enter that value for Q. Then the lambda value 0 0.02. We enter that as F or lambda. And diameter, 0.16 meters in SI units. Make sure to use meters as the units and then calculate H. So the answer is 45.4 meters in this case. What happens if we change the input value for Q to 60 liters per second? We simply replace the Q value with 0 0.06 for Q, recalculate H, and the head loss is 181.6 meters. Now let's use 10 liters per second or 0 0.01 for Q, we enter that value for Q and recalculate H again and get 5 meters as the value for HF. Let us return briefly to the value of lambda equals 0 0.02. You will find um, on the Moody diagram that is in your textbook, figure 4.5, that the values for lambda are given on the y-axis, the left side of the graph, and the value of 0 0.02 is given towards the middle on the left side there. This is, of course, easy if we have lambda as a given value. We were lucky in this case. But what happens if we are given Ks? Things become more complicated in that case. 